Hello everyone. Welcome to weekly current affair quiz. Let's start today's quiz. First question is what is the primary objective of IREDA? To promote fossil fuel based energy projects, to facilitate the development and promotion of renewable energy projects, to regulate the renewable energy sector in India or to provide subsidies for non-renewable energy sources. The correct answer is option B. to facilitate the development and promotion of renewable energy projects Ireda's main objective is to promote and finance renewable energy projects in India it aims to accelerate the pace of renewable energy adoption and contribute to India's energy security and sustainability goals by providing financial assistance and other support mechanisms for renewable energy initiatives next question is which of the following statements about geographical indication that is gi tags is true they are granted to individual producers they are primarily used to identify products based on their brand names they protect products from a specific geographical area against counterfeiting and misuse or they are issued by international organizations only the correct answer is option c they protect products from a specific geographical area against counterfeiting and misuse gi tags are granted to products that have a specific geographical origin and possesses qualities or a reputation that are essentially attributable to that origin these tags help protect the unique identity and heritage associated with products from a particular region safeguarding them against unauthorized use and imitation next question is which of the following statements accurately describes the role of the national investigation agency that is nia it is responsible for investigating financial crimes only it exclusively deals with cyber crimes in india it investigates and prosecutes offenses affecting the sovereignty security and integrity of india or it primarily focuses on civil disputes and legal matters the correct answer is option c it investigates and prosecutes offenses affecting the sovereignty security and integrity of india the national investigation agency that is nia is a central agency established by the government of india to combat terror related activities and other major crimes that pose a threat to national security it has jurisdiction over the entire country and is empowered to investigate and prosecute offenses under various laws including those affecting india's sovereignty security and integrity next question is who appoints the governor of the reserve bank of india the president of india the prime minister of india the finance minister of india or the parliament of india The correct answer is option A the president of India the governor of the RBI that is Reserve Bank of India is appointed by the president of India based on the recommendation of the prime minister who consults with the finance minister this process ensures the independence of the central bank from direct political influence while maintaining governmental oversight next question is what is one of the widely used diagnostic tools for assessing autism spectrum disorder that is ADST electrocardiogram magnetic resonance imaging autism diagnostic observation schedule or blood pressure measurement the correct answer is option c autism diagnostic observation schedule that is ados the ados is one of the widely used diagnostic tools for assessing autism spectrum disorder it is a standardized assessment that involves direct observation of a person's behavior and social interaction to help clinicians accurately diagnose ASD other options such as electrocardiogram magnetic resonance imaging and blood pressure measurement are not specific diagnostic tools for ASD but may be used for assessing other medical conditions next question is which department oversees the kodai kanal solar observatory indian institute of astrophysics department of science and technology indian space research organization or ministry of education 
The correct answer is option B, Department of Science and Technology. The Kodai Kunal Solar Observatory is overseen by the Department of Science and Technology, which is responsible for funding and managing scientific research institutions in India. This department ensures the observatory's alignment with national scientific objectives and facilitates its contribution to solar research and related fields. Next question is which of the following countries borders Taiwan, Japan, China, South Korea or Philippines? The correct answer is option B, China. Taiwan is located off the southeastern coast of China and is bordered by the Taiwan Strait. Although geographically close to several countries, it shares its only land border with mainland China. Next question is which moon has the most craters in the solar system? Europa, Ganymede, Callisto or Lo? The correct answer is option C, Callisto. Callisto, one of Jupiter's moons, has the most craters in the solar system, indicating a long history of impacts by asteroids and comets. Its heavily cratered surface suggests geological stability and minimal geological activity, preserving its ancient features over time. Next question is, what technology does FastTag employ for toll payments? Bluetooth, RFID, GPS or Wi-Fi? The correct answer is option B, RFID. FastTag employs radio frequency identification technology, that is RFID technology, which uses radio waves to identify and track tags attached to objects, in this case vehicles. When a vehicle with a FastTag attached passes through a toll plaza, RFID readers communicate with the tag, deducting the toll amount directly from the linked account without the need for physical interaction, facilitating seamless and efficient toll payments. Next question is, where is the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor located? South Korea, Japan, France or United States? The correct answer is option C, France. The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, that is ITER, is located in France. It is situated in Cadarac, a commune in the southern region of the country where it serves as the world's largest experimental tokamak fusion reactor project aimed at demonstrating the feasibility of fusion power. Next question is, what is the term used to describe coastal flooding caused by high swell waves in Kerala? Monsoon, tsunami, kalakkadal or cyclone? The correct answer is option C, kalakkadal. The term used to describe coastal flooding caused by high swell waves in Kerala is kalakkadal. This Malayalam term which translates to ocean that arrives as a thief specifically refers to the phenomenon of coastal flooding during the pre-monsoon season due to swell waves. Next question is, which river forms a significant portion of the border between Odisha and the state of Chhattisgarh? Brahmaputra, Mahanadi, Godavari or Suban Rekha? The correct answer is option B, Mahanadi. The Mahanadi river flows through the states of Odisha and Chhattisgarh, forming a significant portion of their border and serving as a vital water resource for both states. Next question is, what is one theory regarding the cause of Havana syndrome, viral infection, psychosomatic illness, Microwave exposure or bacterial contamination? The correct answer is option C, microwave exposure. Some researchers and officials have speculated that Havana syndrome may be caused by exposure to direct energy or microwave weapons, although no definitive in evidence has been presented to support this theory. Next question is, what is the primary objective of the Competition Commission of India? Promoting international trade agreements, regulating stock market transactions, preventing anti-competitive practices in the market or promoting government subsidies. The correct answer is option C, preventing anti-competitive practices in the market. The Competition Commission of India is tasked with promoting fair competition in the Indian market by preventing anti-competitive agreements, abuse of dominant position and regulating combinations that may have adverse effects on competition. Next question is which ministry is responsible for managing the government e-marketplace portal? Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of Home Affairs or Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology? The correct answer is option B, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. The government e-marketplace or GEM portal is managed by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry Government of India with the aim of transforming the public procurement process and promoting transparency and efficiency. Next question is, what is the aim of launching the My CGHS app to reduce pollution, to enhance access to healthcare services for CGHS beneficiaries, 
to increase traffic on government websites or to promote tourism? The correct answer is option B, to enhance access to healthcare services for CGHS beneficiaries. The aim of launching the My CGHS app is to improve access to healthcare services specifically for CGHS beneficiaries. By providing a convenient mobile platform, the app aims to empower beneficiaries by facilitating tasks such as appointment booking, accessing medical records, and locating healthcare facilities, thereby enhancing their overall health experience. Next question is, what is the name of the new platform developed by C Camp in Bangalore? MicroOpt, OptiDrop, CellSense or NanoView? The correct answer is option B, OptiDrop. A new platform developed by C Camp in Bangalore is called OptiDrop, which utilizes microfluidic chip-based technology for studying single cells with enhanced precision and cost-effectiveness. OptiDrop represents a significant advancement in the field of single-cell analysis, offering a revolutionary approach to studying biological samples. Next question is, what is the main focus of the report titled Synchronizing Energy Transitions Towards Possible Net Zero for India? Achieving High Human Development Index, Minimizing Power Cost for Consumers, Assessing Carbon Emissions Projections, or Establishing Optimal Energy Mix? The correct answer is option D, Establishing Optimal Energy Mix. The main focus of the report is to determine the most effective combination of energy sources and technologies to achieve net zero emissions in India. By establishing an optimal energy mix, the report aims to guide policy decisions towards a sustainable and affordable energy transition. Next question is, when is International Mine Awareness Day observed? April 4th, May 8th, June 19th or September 21st? The correct answer is option A, April 4th. International Mine Awareness Day is observed annually on April 4th to raise awareness about the dangers of landmines and unexploded ordnance, as well as to promote efforts towards their clearance and rehabilitation of affected areas. Last question is, what is the primary objective of White Rabbit collaboration launched by CERN? To develop proprietary timing technology for CERN's accelerators, to establish a global community for the advancement of open source technology, to facilitate international cooperation in the field of quantum computing or to promote the use of closed source technology in industry sectors. The correct answer is option B, to establish a global community for the advancement of open source technology. The White Rabbit collaboration aims to maintain and promote the White Rabbit technology, facilitate its adoption by industry, provide support and training and foster R&D projects among members. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.